Hey everyone, welcome back to the Invoicing Masterclass. This is Sachin from Zoho, and in this video, we're going to dive into the context of invoicing to understand why it was introduced. Let's begin. Have you heard of the Doing Business project? Since 2002, it's been looking at the different regulations for running a small or medium-sized business in different economies. The project scores all these economies on 10 different topics like starting a business, getting credit, paying taxes and more. These scores are used to calculate the ease of doing business index which ranks the most business friendly economies at the top. Among 190 economies, India ranks 63rd under the ease of doing business index in 2020. Small and medium sized companies in India on an average spend 252 hours a year paying taxes that is 42 minutes a day the hope is that by improving our score in the paying taxes category we'll rank higher in the ease of doing business index benefits of the invoicing for the seller details from the invoice registration portal will be used to auto populate fields when filing taxes and generating e way bills this in turn can save a lot of time since invoicing is now part of the business process and not a standalone activity for the buyer the details of the invoice can be viewed online since it was already uploaded by the seller there is no manual work involved for the government since there's more transparency in b2b transactions it's easier to understand what tax payers are up to this helps the government reduce tax evasion and ultimately gain more revenue from taxes We hope you found this video useful. Do follow this masterclass series for more informative videos on e-invoicing. Thank you for your time and don't forget to subscribe.